We're going to continue our work on using models to find the quotient and remainder. We started this in class and we will go ahead and finish this up for homework tonight. When we were working on this today, we knew that we needed to be able to use our models for finding quotients and remainders. So for example, 10 divided by 3. This is an example that we did do in class today. We understand that our divisor is 3 and that tells us how many groups we need. 10 is our dividend and we need to divide that 10 up equally among these three groups. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the 10th one has to go out here to represent the remainder. And we know that we need to look at only one of the groups to show that that is our quotient and the one that is not in the group as our remainder. So for this example, we have 3 because there is 1, 2, 3 in each group. So it's 3 in each group, and then our remainder is 1. Let's look at number 2. Again, the same concept. We need 5 groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 groups. And in each group, we're going to take this dividend, 28 is our dividend, and we're going to divide it equally into the five groups and we're going to get as close to 28 as we can before we need to stop to look at what our remainder will be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And I need to stop and put 26, 27, and 28 out here. So I should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the same amount in each of these groups. So I can check to see that I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I do have the same amount in each group. So I'm going to look at what my quotient would be and what my remainder would be. So this would be my quotient, and this is going to be my remainder. So 28 divided by 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, remainder. One, two, three. And this is the strategy that we're using when we're using models to find quotients and remainders. This concept is very important for you to be able to do because you're going to have to be able to use this model, this method, to be able to describe and interpret the remainders when we move towards that tomorrow. So this is a very important first step in what we're doing with division. And remember, we are not using standard algorithm to divide, which some of your parents may refer to as the old way. We are using models to represent division, quotients, and remainders. That's the way, that's the method that we are using. Let's look at these, numbers 3, 4, and 5. I would like for you to pause the video, and I would like for you to work on 3, 4, and 5 in your journal on your own. Go ahead and pause the video and begin working. Okay, let's see how you did. You should have your groups, which would be six, six groups, two in each group, and three left over. So I can see that my quotient is two, and my remainder is three on number three. Look, look at number four. Our quotient is three. And our remainder is going to be 2. And number 5, we should have four groups. And I want you to share tomorrow in class what you got for the quotient and the remainder for number 5.
Now, let's apply this. Let's look at number three. I'm sorry, not number three, number six. Number six, here it is. So, Abby, Zamari, Daria, and Andrea collected 13 marbles. They want to share the marbles equally. And I know y'all get me for this. Miss Clemens, you spelled that one wrong. Okay, that should be like that. They want to share the marbles equally. How many marbles will each of the girls get? How many marbles will be left over? Okay. So Billy Bob is going to attempt to solve this problem. And here's his work. This is his model right here for this problem. I would like for you to find and describe his error. What is it? What is wrong about this? Write that down in your journal. After you have done that, I would like for you to then draw a correct model and solve the problem yourself and see what you come up with. So that is what I would like for you to work on for problem number six. So you need to read the problem again, look at Billy Bob's model, find and describe his error, and then you complete the problem and um, solve it with a model yourself. Don't forget to let me know that you watched the video leaving me a note on Edmodo, and complete your whisk. See you tomorrow.